Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm back today for a tutorial. And this tutorial was a tutorial that has been requested for the past few days by a few people. And I did tell you guys on Snapchat that I was going to have this video up for you guys today. So here we are. First and foremost, I want to point out that I have been off YouTube for the past few days because I had the world's worst cold. And it wasn't even like a full body cold, it was just a head cold. Like I had a lot of phlegm, a lot of nasty shit going on. My voice was gone. Like I had no voice whatsoever and I tried to film a video but I sounded so bad. You can kind of hear what's left of the grunginess. When I get louder, you can hear it sometimes. So I still have a little something, something but it's not as bad as it was. So let's thank God for that. Today's tutorial is obviously, as you can tell from the title, about the Jeffree Star, Jared Blandino, Two-Faced drama that has unfolded on Instagram and Twitter. I was requested to do this by a couple of people, not a lot of people, but a few of you guys have expressed interest in what I would say about what had happened. And because I love you guys to the moon and back, I went ahead and did some research, looked at all the Snapchats, gathered all my receipts, girl. And I have everything here for you guys for today. But with that being said, guys, I'm going to get on out of here and let you guys get to the actual video, the reason why we are all here. If you guys have any requests for future tutorials, leave those all down below, and I hope you guys enjoy. Hey, guys. So, the first thing I'm going to do is obviously put my hair back in the little clip thingy. All right, so you guys have been asking me to do a tutorial on the Jeffree Star drama with Too Faced, and honey, I am all for it, because there are so many things I want to say. So if you don't know what happened, basically what happened was last week, I'm pretty sure sometime, I will insert the screenshots that I have of the original posts from Jared. Last week sometime, Jared Blandino, who was the owner of Too Faced, he has since sold the company. He is now, I am pretty sure, the creative director, I think. He shaded the fuck out of Tarte Cosmetics, like out of nowhere for no reason. And Jeffree Star saw that shit and he went off. Okay, I just want to come on here for a second as someone that has been buying makeup for a really long time and someone that is a fan of the brand Too Faced. Now, I know some people are not going to like this opinion because it's me and I guess whenever it involves me I'm not allowed to have an opinion but hold on so this is the owner of Too Faced Instagram page he posts a picture of his own unicorn tears lipstick hashtag there aren't unicorns in the Amazon so oh. let's go back to the shade then he has to of course announce that it has the number one spot as the best-selling lipstick in all of Ulta oh congrats I'll tell you what what the problem here is who is that insecure that they have to post something that shady about another brand. And one other small problem, this is Chloe Morello, who is a huge YouTuber. This is her photo. You didn't tag her here, you didn't tag her there. And of course, 10 minutes later, after hundreds of hate comments, the picture is now off of his page. Girl, already? But I guess he sold his brand to Estee Lauder, which is great, congratulations, but you have so much money now, it's clouding your fucking judgment, fool. Wake the fuck all up. All tea, all shade. Lime Crime has had unicorn lipsticks for a long time. So Jared, let's come back to Earth, baby. Let's come back. I'm just saying, y'all, I am so disappointed as a fan of makeup, and I'm just done supporting people who are gonna treat people. And I already see Twitter going ham. Focus on the subject at hand. Don't try to bring anything from the past out. Just focus on what I just So tweet me your guys' thoughts. I just wanted to go on a little rant and just vent because sometimes a bitch needs to let out her feelings and I'm tired of the shadiness. Since people want receipts always, the owner of Too Faced, there is his Twitter, of course. This is the deleted post. Honey, you forgot that. At the end of the day, makeup is about creativity and inspiring others and having fun with art and creating. Let's go back to that. If I could tell you the contract that Nikki Tutorial signed for her Too Faced palette and what they did to her, you guys would fucking scream. But if she wants to talk about that one day, I will let her. They probably had her sign so many contracts and agreements that she's not ever allowed to even speak of it. But I'll tell you this, Too Faced, keep shading brands and running your fucking mouth and the truth will come out. But for now, I'll let you sleep. The difference between me and them, I'm not owned by a company. I'm not owned by a corporation. I own myself. And I'm always going to keep it real with you guys and share my thoughts. Hey guys, I thought the subject was almost over with Jared and Too Faced, but they've still stayed silent. I don't know where anyone else comes from or how you're raised, but in my family, when you stay silent like that, it basically means you're guilty. Why can't you talk about it? Why can't you speak? But obviously, loyalty does not um, stay close to Jared because a Too Faced employee has leaked me the Nikki Tutorials contract. Now, I would never post it without Nikki's blessing, so if she wants to give me the okay, it will go live. 
And if she says no, she says no. Hey guys, I didn't think I would be coming on here so soon, but some crazy shit is going down right now and I am just in literal shock. So if you guys don't know, recently Jared and Too Faced sold their brand. So he's not the current owner, but he has been the owner for the last 15 years. He may not technically own the brand anymore, but he is like me where I am the face of my own brand and he is still the creative director. So I'm logging on today and I upload a new video to YouTube and people start sending me all these screenshots of Jared's own sister going crazy about me. Here is Lisa, who is Jared's sister. Of course, she has a quote from him on her page and this is her screening on Instagram. Here is her going off in the comment section telling people, you can't buy Too Faced anymore. You are no longer in your life allowed to ever look at a precious piece of Too Faced. She goes on to say, if I ever see a piece in your clammy hands, I'll smack it out so hard it'll fly for miles. Now get off here and go play with your Revlon. Wow. And then she goes on to say, you need to pray for Jeffrey with a fist at the end, which to me is an indirect threat. I don't know how you guys take it, but that's disgusting. And she even made an Instagram post about me. Um, and she jokes and says that I have a mental problems, which if you really think that's something to even mention is so sad. She is comparing me telling the truth to the public as a mental problem. So me exposing something that you're afraid of, that means I have mental problems. She goes on to say that no one buys my clown makeup. No, no, one, no one buys my makeup, huh? Huh, that's, that's news. <laughs> is she serious? The fact that she is comparing drugstore brands to her brand being superior, telling me that I don't sell anything. I'm like, the ego, t the ego. The ego on those two, the just insecurities they're projecting, the immaturity level for their age is just sad. I will never let someone take me down to their level. I will not be dragged down to the filth that they come from. Um, I know and I respect myself more than that. You think that they would give it up for the underdog. I'm not owned by a corporation. I am a multi-million dollar brand that has come from rags to riches and you're upset at that? You guys, they sold their company for so much money, they'll never be able to spend the money that they've made off of their brand in 10 lifetimes. But they're mad at my hustle and my bank account? I just never imagined as someone who 10 years ago bought their first Too Faced palette would be having the owner and his sister degrade me and treat me like shit like this. It's sad. I'm disappointed in them as a fan of makeup, as a beauty lover, and as a brand owner and a business owner. I am just disgusted. Their motto is own your pretty and being secure and self-love and they're calling my brand clown makeup. <laughs> I guess I just want to end this conversation by saying thank you to everyone watching this. Thank you guys for supporting me, for having my back, for buying my brand and making me who I am. I hope that they can come back to earth and realize that money does not make you superior. You are not better than me or anyone. Hopefully someone can call those two and, and say, hey, put down the phone, stop making it worse for yourself and relax and own it. Now, I've heard so many things behind the scenes the last few days and the main issue is Nikki's contract and they're mad that I spoke the truth and that the truth is out there. They can't handle it. I think if they want to do the right thing, they should apologize to Nikki for doing her dirty and they should own up to their mistakes, say sorry and keep it moving and then people will support them. But I cannot support a brand that is treating me personally like this, so I will not be using Too Faced on my channel ever again. I'm good. Okay, so before we get into the tea, I want to show you guys what I'm going to be doing for my eyes for today. I have really been loving the purple eyeshadow looks, and I saw this one shade in this palette that I haven't used in a while. This is the BH Cosmetics 26 Color Eyeshadow Palette. This is also a blush palette as well. The blushes are all up here, and these are all of the eyeshadows. I have one missing. I don't know where the fuck it went, but it's gone, girl. It's gone. But for today's look, I'm going to be only using this one eyeshadow right here, this deep plum shade. So what I'm going to do right now is go prime my lids, set my lids, and I'll meet you guys back here for the application process. Alright guys, so the only shadow you need for this entire eyeshadow look is the deep plum shade right here. I'm picking it up on this fluffy brush from Wet n Wild. Side note, I was at Dollar Tree yesterday, I think it was, and I saw that they had the entire line of the white brushes from Wet n Wild for two for a dollar, so I picked up a bunch of them. Like, I cleaned out the entire rack of them because I love these brushes so, so much. They're such good brushes. 
So we're gonna tap off a lot of that product. Remember that blending up a product is easier than blending it away, especially when you put too much on, especially with darker colors like this. And we're gonna go ahead and just start to blend that into the crease. But I'm being very, very messy with this because this is gonna be a very blown out smoky eye. All right, so now I'm taking that same shade on a fluffy flat eyeshadow brush and we're gonna go ahead and just apply that to the lid. So obviously, as we just saw, Jeffrey was very offended by what Jared had said and I understand why. You are the founder, the owner of Too Faced Cosmetics and you're gonna sit here and shade the fuck out of a brand for no fucking reason. Like, it literally came out of nowhere. And quite frankly, I don't know, I don't understand why that whole thing was brought up in the first place. Too Faced was not the first brand to bring up unicorn anything in the cosmetic industry. As much as I fucking hate the bitch and the company itself, as you guys have seen in my last video, Lime Crime was one of the one of the first companies to ever have a unicorn on anything cosmetic. So why Jared is so fucking pressed about fucking unicorns being in the Amazon, I don't fucking understand. What I'm doing right now is I'm taking that first fluffy brush we used, I'm just blending this whole thing out, you don't want any harsh lines anywhere. But like I said, I understand why Jeffrey was so mad, because to watch somebody who was literally one of the most successful cosmetic brands in the industry shade the fuck out of a brand that is just as successful, for no reason, it's literally so childish. Now I'm gonna be a shady bitch and just say this right now. I feel as though Too Faced has been going downhill so quickly. The quality is different, there's no uniqueness to anything they put out. So I kind of understand why Jared felt the need to kind of go to such drastic measures to get attention. Because when it comes to show business or any business at all when you're in the public, it doesn't matter what kind of attention you get, whether it be good or bad, it's still attention, so it's good no matter what. So of course, my dude had to have known he was gonna get some backlash from what he said, thus creating drama, thus putting their name back in the spotlight after being so overshadowed by all these other brands, including Tarte, for releasing products that have literally Literally trumped their products when it comes to being better in quality. Case in point, the Tarte Shape Tape, everybody regards that concealer, outside of me obviously, as their holy grail concealer because it's so fucking good. What was the last concealer that Too Faced had that everyone raved about? The fucking Born This Way concealer, which we have not heard fucking anything about in months. I myself loved it. I really did like the way it looked on my skin tap. I thought it was really, really good. But honestly, I myself have gone to the drugstore and found products that are equally as good as the Born This Way concealer. But like I said, I can't be the only one who has noticed that Too Faced, their products just aren't as good as they used to. At least they don't look as good. Whenever I see a new release from Too Faced, I'm not at the computer right away trying to order the shit. Like, it doesn't look good to me anymore. And this is how I felt for a while. Like, you guys have seen my hauls. I really have not hauled anything Too Faced. The last thing I had that was from Too Faced that I hauled was this palette. And I didn't even get it on the website. I got it at TJ Maxx for 15 bucks. Like, that's the only reason why I picked it up. A lot of people, especially the Jeffree Star haters, which are a million of them are telling Jeffrey to shut the fuck up don't say anything why is it your business why are you getting involved why are you throwing shade why are you doing this he's not throwing shade he's directly calling out Jared and Too Faced and being like listen shut the fuck up like what are you fucking doing Jeffrey is literally holding them accountable for their actions which is something that no one seems to do here on YouTube anymore like I honestly don't understand why people are telling him to shut the fuck up about it when it's something that should be addressed and quite frankly he is the only one on YouTube the only one when it comes to the beauty community who is not paid for by Too Faced to keep hush hush about things. He's not contracted, he's not owned by anybody, so he has free reign to say what the fuck he wants, whatever the fuck he wants to. And honestly, I think he exercised that right beautifully with this Snapchat. I don't give a fuck if the brand is Laura Mercier, Becca, I don't give a fuck who the fuck it is. If a brand is doing something shitty, they should always be called out for it and held accountable. And if Too Faced fucked over Nikki tutorials, which they did, then why shouldn't they be exposed for it? Like, like I understand that it's Nikki. Nikki's business, it's her fucking contract, I get it. But she obviously told Jeffrey something about it and it obviously bothered her enough to say something about it. And let's be honest, if she gives Jeffrey permission to talk about it, then girl, why hold back? She is the only thing holding Jeffrey back at this point because he's a good friend of hers. So all I'm doing right now is taking a very precise pencil brush and we're gonna blend that plum shade in the very bottom lash line. I'm making sure to really pack in the color on the outside corner to deepen up the look. But then as I go in further into the inside corner of the eye, I'm gonna go ahead and just lighten that all out. And then we're gonna take the same black on that precise pencil brush and just run it on the outside corner of the bottom lash line now but I'm really tucking that on to the actual lash line and just blending it right there 
So now we're going to go into the BH Cosmetics Spotlight Highlight Palette, and we're going to mix both Vivid and Allure. I'll go ahead and swatch these for you guys so you can see what they look like. And I know you guys have been asking me for a swatch video on this palette in particular, which I will have for you guys very, very soon. But those are the swatches for Vivid and Allure. As you can see, gorgeous as fuck. But we're going to mix those two shades, and we're going to use that as our highlight for today's look. And then we're going to take both Vivid and Allure one more time on a flat shadow brush. And that is going to be our inner corner highlight. I can understand why he would be threatened because Tarte is an incredible brand. The quality is always on point. Obviously, there are some hits and misses. But overall, the thought about Tarte is that it's a very, very good brand. And let's be honest, they've had nothing but success, especially with the release of the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. That is the most hyped and talked about and most loved concealer across the board. If you look at things in Jared's perspective, he had a concealer that was once a holy grail that was so amazing that was irreplaceable. And then Tarte Tarte Shape Tape comes along and that goes out the fucking window. <laughs> the collab palettes that he's come out with have been failures for the most part. The Nikki Tutorials one was a complete shit show. And it's just gone downhill gradually from there, if that's even possible. And the one reason I've never really purchased any other palettes from Too Faced is because, honestly, if you have one Too Faced palette, you have all of them. Yes, there are a couple brand new shades released with each palette, or so they say, but the majority of the time when I've gone shopping at Sephora or Ulta, and I've tried to check out the Too Faced palettes. I look at all of them and I just see the same colors in every palette. Am I the only one? So Jared's sister can say all she wants and talk all the shit she wants about both Jeffrey and Tarte. And she can say that Jeffrey's makeup is clown makeup, but let's be real. It's clown makeup that has sold out more than any other fucking Too Faced palette or release. Recently, I have not heard of a Too Faced product selling out as quickly as a Jeffree Star product has. And like I said, when you look at any Too Faced palette, you will see repeat after repeat after repeat. And in some cases, there are repeats that are just renamed to not look like repeats. I cannot wait to see what happens when this whole thing comes to head. Because as much as it seems like it's really come to a head already, it really has not. What it comes down to is if Nikki gives the permission to Jeffree to talk about what had happened and what she was involved in with Too Faced with her collaboration. Because like I said, that was a complete failure. So if she gives him that permission and says, go ahead and talk about it. Girl, if you think it is dramatic right now as far as what's happening, you are going to see a whole new level of fucking drama here on YouTube. And for the first time in a very long time, it's going to be drama that is worth getting into and worth watching. And I cannot wait to see what gets exposed, what gets talked about, because we're going to see this brand get exposed so harshly. And I back him 100%. I am somebody who is all for holding these brands accountable for doing shitty things. And if they screwed over Nikki, I mean, honestly, the palette wasn't worth the money, but but if they screwed over Nikki, then why shouldn't they be exposed for it? So anyways, guys, I'm going to get on out of here because I have one more video to film for you guys for today. But I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up as always. Subscribe if you are not already. Leave any requests down below. And I will see you guys in the next video. I love you guys so much. Bye.